Hello, how are you? So I'm going to jump straight into the video. Today I will be talking about a more serious topic that I wanted to talk about for a while now. So I know my channel has mostly been reviewing songs and stealing things like that, but I wanted to talk about this for a while and the K-pop industry sadly has many icebergs and rabbit holes that we can all dive into. So today I will be discussing the CEO of Adore, Min Hee Jin. So if you don't know who Min Hee Jin is, honestly good for you, but she is the CEO of the Adore label under HYBE. Adore houses New Jeans and she is their executive producer as well as the creator of their concept. She is basically the one in charge for all New Jeans activities. But her history reaches far before New Jeans, before some members of New Jeans were even born. Her job history is filled with many, many controversies that I want to talk about today because it's surprising how much a person can F up and still be held at a very high position in the K-pop industry. So firstly, a brief history of Min Hee Jin. So she graduated from Women's Seoul University with a degree in art and dance as well as performances. And she joined firstly SM Entertainment in 2002. So six years before the youngest member of her newest girl group was even born. So that's just something to think about. She firstly started just as a graphic designer, designing some posters for events of SM Entertainment and maybe even some logos and album covers. But overall she started very low in the company. Soon she was promoted and was credited as a creative director and worked on some of SM's biggest groups of all time. She worked on Girls' Generation, on FX, on Shiny, EXO and even parts of Red Velvet's discography. She was soon a very prominent figure in the SM board of directors as well as in the K-pop industry and she was credited as being someone who reinvented K-pop concepts where the comebacks now focused so much on concept while earlier in the second gen before 2013 the concepts were just there as decoration while she decided to reinvent it. She was mostly focused on FX and made some of their most famous songs and concepts like Pink Tape and Four Wall. In 2017 she was promoted to the board of directors, so not just creative directors but overall board, but left the company in 2018 as she said due to her creative burnout. In 2019, she joined HYBE's board of directors and worked mostly on all HYBE groups. Without the subgenres, she worked on some BTS comebacks, as well as some things from From Is 9 or GFriend. And in November of 2021, she was promoted CEO of the subunit Adore, so that means all doors are open. She was promoted as the CEO of that subunit and soon, in May of 2022, that subunit will debut the global sensation that is New Jeans today. She is the brain behind New Jeans, as well as many other Hypes groups, and even now is working on BTS's V's solo album. But after we've done with this brief history, what is the thing that makes her so problematic, actually? So here's why I think that New Jeans are just Min Hee Jin's way of expressing her own opinions on the industry and on the world overall using this girl group, as well as using lots of Hybe's financial help to pay a lot their way into the mainstream. Now, we all know that New Jeans debuted suddenly with attention, without any teasers, any introduction, and they just popped off. And sure, you can say that that could have been because Hive is a big company and, you know, they released a great song, so obviously they're gonna go viral. But a lot of comp a lot of groups from Hive, like From Is 9, with support, as well as groups from big companies like Extraordinary Heroes from JYP, also debuted kind of suddenly, yet didn't get nearly as much hype. And there is nothing wrong with paywalling your way, at least firstly into the mainstream, but we do need to admit that that was done. So while the strategy to just suddenly debut them was very fresh and very interesting, we can see that 
Min Hijin's fingers were never clean from the beginning. And during the attention era is obviously the first controversy because as soon as New Jeans debuted, people found things from Min Hijin's past as well as the present. So firstly, people thought that outfits in the attention music video were highly inappropriate. New jeans were always in controversy because of the young age of the members, the oldest member being only 19 years old at debut, and the youngest member being 14. But the outfits they wore in the music video were very short and skimpy, and people found that to be very controversial. As well as after they released Hype Boy and music videos for the other single Cookie, Min Hee Jin was accused of making new jeans into a Lita concept. One of the outfits from the music video Attention, the member Minji, has a shirt that says Pimp is yours. Pimp being a slang for a man who has many younger women and has dates with them, pays them, and then discards them in the end. Which some people found very controversial, but honestly, that was just blown out of proportion. But the thing that was actually very interesting is people started digging digging on Min Hee Jin's personal Instagram and found lots of pictures and posters of movies like Le Faro de Padre and History de Melody Nelson, as well as Salon Kitty, which are all movies with pedophilic themes. Young girls in those movies end up with 50-something men and end up being used and discarded by them. And those pictures are, as well as on Min Hee Jin's Instagram, also can be seen hung in her studio. People thought that it was very weird that she romanticizes the, these movies, but has just debuted a group where all the members are under 20 years old. They also found a lot of pictures of just Lolita-inspired artwork and photo shoots, as well as that one Brooke Shields commercial for Calvin Klein. I'll link it in the description if you don't know which one. The next weird thing is that the title track, actually, of the first New Jean album is Cookie. It's not Hype Boy, and it's not Attention, but it's actually a Cookie, which is a very weird choice for a title track, considering that the other two songs were way more popular than Cookie. But other than the popularity, the lyrics of the song were questionable to most of the audiences. Hype tried to defend it by calling in a literature professor and saying how it's just a metaphor and it's a song to show the love for fans. But honestly, that was a very, very weak argument and also, it's just not true. You can definitely see that the song has some um, S-E actual innuendos in it. And clearly, I'm going to read some lyrics now. And it's made a little cookie, come and take a looky, big at my place only, come and get some. Were one of the very controversial lyrics because, I mean, you can tell what it's implying. Whatever Min Hee Jin says, you can clearly tell. As well as looking at my cookie, you can't stop at one bite. Sure, if you have zero literature knowledge, you can say that it's about baked goods, but none of us are stupid, even though Min Hee Jin wants us to believe that. And the final controversy that was open to the public eye was the ETA controversy. So once again, New Jeans title tracks being kind of problematic appears to be a trend in this Min Hee Jin universe. ETA stands in the New Jeans official explanation as uh, for estimated time of arrival. So that's basically what that's supposed to mean. And it's a music video shot on an iPhone 14 where New Jeans call their friend because they can see her boyfriend cheating on her at a party. But their friend is in a car and she's driving to that party and they are updating her while recording everything to an iPhone 14. Now, the controversy at the time was also because the iPhone 14 was literally shoved in all of our faces. And while it's a fun little collab, people were getting annoyed that it just felt like product placement and not like a music video. But the way bigger controversy stems from the name and the acronym. ETA, while Min Hee Jin says stands for Estimated Time of Arrival, is actually a Spanish terrorist group, which is just a very weird 
name to name your song. But if you thought that maybe that was just a coincidence and they did not know that, in the teaser and the music video it says New Jeans featuring Mikael, Maria and Eva. And this probably won't mean anything to you, but the leader of ETA, the terrorist organization, was named Mikael. His wife was named Maria and the first woman that they unalived was named Eva. So, and also the way they did it was with a car. And those just seem like way too many controversies, way too many coincidences for it to be a coincidence, if you know what I mean. Once again, Min Hye Jin has denied everything and the song obviously blew up because, I mean, it's new jeans. We all know that, but that was just very the last straw for some people. Now, those were only things that were covered by the public because, well, hype couldn't hide them either and people weren't really looking that deep into it, other than the cute visuals of the girls and their chill fresh songs. But here are also a couple of things that I noticed myself. One, the outfits in the super shy music video. If you want to make an outfit with a tennis skirt, that is completely okay. But in every single outfit that they have, why are there safety shorts showing? If you're making an outfit with a skirt, why is the safety shorts the thing that shines? Like, no, all of those outfits are way too short and why? that's why they have the shorts showing. And once again, that is not very appropriate for a 14 year old to be wearing, let alone dancing in it and very where in a way that some people could deem provocative. Now obviously it's never the girl's fault, but it's still a weird choice to put them into every performance, just different color of skirts. And another thing is the way that Min Hye Jin pushes these girls into brand ambassadorships and Hybes manages to pay for it while not understanding how inauthentical that seems. Like. If you enjoyed the new jeans fresh image and the way that they seem unique in the K-pop industry, then you want to tone down the flashiness and the designer brands that you are that every other group is supporting. Like, let it down, keep the image fresh, keep it young. You don't have to have them be ambassadors for Dior or Louis Vuitton for your group to have any sort of buzz around it. Like it doesn't make sense that people like Blackpink, TWICE or BTS worked years and years for their ambassadorships, yet New Jeans get them in under a year of their debut. Once again, not a hit on the girls, it's obvious that the company just made a deal with the luxury house and paid for it. But the way Min Hye Jin exploits these girls puts them in very risky positions and puts them in constant controversies to keep the buzz around her group is, in my opinion, very creepy. And I don't think that sh just because she is a woman, she should get away with doing things like this. It's still very creepy and these girls are unprotected and because they are at the top of the world, right now all of the hate goes towards them. But I think that it's important that even for small creators like me, to speak out on things that we find strange or wrong, because exploiting underage people is never okay. I genuinely hope that us fans, with at least a bit of outrage and buzz, can make this industry at least a safer space for minors. While minors have always debuted in the K-pop industry, I still think that it's important to call out these grown people who are exploiting these kids who genuinely don't know better, because they are very young and very uneducated, and it's not fair for them to be treated this way, just for someone's monetary gain. If you enjoyed this little tangent of mine, I beg you to like and subscribe and maybe even watch another video because my engagement has been going down a bit recently so I just wanna help it up and be able to produce as many cool videos that you guys enjoy. Alright, why don't you leave your opinion in the comments and what do you think about this whole Min Hye situation? Are we all blowing it out of proportion or is it even worse than we thought? What are your opinions? Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.